Hey Internet, my name is Abby and welcome back to Buzz Aldrin's Space Program Manager. I finished the Vostok program in the last episode and now I can fully focus on the Soyuz 7K L1 program. The Soyuz spacecraft is a two-man capsule and though I think I should upgrade my cosmonaut center so that I can hire some more, uh, some more cosmonauts, then I like to upgrade the mission control center because for the lunar landing I will need 15 flight controllers and then I think I will upgrade the SET center right away to have access to more scientists. And finally I will also upgrade the VAB because uh, later in the game I will need the access to the heavyweight rockets because I need the powerful N1 booster to fly out to the moon. So yeah, um, everything is now in construction. This is very good. And um, what else is going on? I have some scientists available. Um, we are making good progress over here with our Suyo 7K L1 spacecraft. Um, the rockets. I still have. Um, I have. Uh, okay, I have a lot of boosters. I don't need the Vostok booster anymore, so I can close this program. Then I still have access to the lunar booster. 390 kilograms to. Translunar injection. Um, is there a probe? You have at least one rocket capable of launching the thing. So yeah, maybe I, oh yeah, I think I will launch the Lunar 2, the Lunar Impactor. I think this is a great idea. This gives me some additional prestige. This is very amazing. So I can assign the scientists to, I said assign, to this project. Very nice. Okay, and then there is one scientist left over. Um, what can I do with this scientist? Can I do something with the last scientist? Um, not really. I think I will send uh, the scientist to advanced training. Um, hmm, EVA suits or crewed spacecraft? I think crewed spacecraft could be a little bit more important. Okay, that's nice, that's nice. And now I can, oh, I should send my flight controllers to an advanced training session. So um, you can learn something about spacecraft systems. 96, wow, that's amazing. So trajectory, um, 75, okay. You need some training in your main skill. 89, you need also training in your main skill. 96, okay. You can start training a new skill. The same thing, same thing as for you. 90%, okay, your main skill. Okay, you can start training something else. Um, oh, my flight director. You can, yeah, mission operations is very important for you. 91, okay, you can improve a little bit your main skill. You can learn more about trajectory. You can learn more about mission operations and you can learn also a little bit more about missions operations. Okay, very good. Then I do have my astronaut or my cosmonauts. I think I will send them to advanced training as well because it will take some time until I can perform the next manned launch. Okay, that's good, that's good. Now, everything is in construction or is training or learning or whatever, so I can end the season. And the Soyuz spacecraft is at 57%, that's amazing. The booster is at 63%, okay, that's great, that's really great. And um, astronauts coming out from rest season, okay, very good. Uh, I started to upgrade the Wow, due to recent successes, the agency has received a budget increase of 11.8%. That's cool, that's amazing. Okay, um, cosmonauts, I can send you to fitness training. You can learn more about leadership. And, okay, that's all, very good. So yeah, I can only, and, oh wait, how many seasons are left? 13 seasons are left and I need to reach 35,000 prestige points. Okay, should be no problem at all. Um, 64, very good. 66, also nice. Wow, 
74, so soon we will be able to launch our Luna 2, that's great. Okay, um, NASA has performed Pioneer 2, the Lunar Orbiter. Okay, and some buildings are finished, that's great. Okay, I think I'd like to hire a few more Yuri Gagarin. Okay, I definitely need to hire Yuri Gagarin, that's cool. That's really amazing, okay. Yuri Gagarin and then who has a very high light bulb skill. Okay, but you are already at the age of 37, huh? Well, I, s I hope the age is not so important anymore, so I will hire the three recruits and well, that's amazing, that's amazing. I can hire Yuri Gagarin, that's cool. Okay, let's hire them. And I need two additional flight controllers, I guess for the lunar landing, okay, light bulb skill of 95 and 87, I think I will take this one, as, oh, three, no, 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 I need only two, so, um, not you, okay, let's hire these two crew members, or these two flight controllers, okay, very good, that's great, and Oh, I have five scientists available, that's cool. Oh, well, the VAB still needs some time. I thought about opening the N1 rocket because the development of this rocket really need takes some time, but I need to wait for the VAB to be finished. So I think I will just end the season, or is there, are there somewhere some free slots? No. Okay. So I will end the season. Yes, I know there are some scientists are standing around and sitting around, but I really like to start working on the N1 right away. Okay, 68. Uh, this will take some time until we can perform the launch. Um, 78. Okay, that's good. That's good. And I've hired some. Uh, some some employees that's good okay now i can hire some more scientists that's also amazing oh he's looking quite amazing then i like to have okay maybe him and uh, they are he has some good skills yeah, I think that's all, that's all. Okay, very good. And I'm still waiting for the VAB to be finished. Um, but I have now enough money to start working on the Soyuz 7K L3. I think I should do this. I think I should open this program, yes. Okay, very good. Okay, and now manage payloads and R&D. At first, I will assign all the scientists to this project and, well, maybe the EVA suit is also important, so you can start working on this. And as soon as I have access to the N1, I will start working on the N1. Okay, that's good, that's good. Um, 73, okay. Also 73, this will take some time. Oh, the Luna 2 is now ready, that's good. So I can now launch my Lunar Impactor. Okay, astronauts graduated from advanced training, very nice. Okay, the VAB is finished, that's great. Now I can, where is the N1? I can, yes, I like to open this program and I like to be redirected. Uh, oh, indeed, no personnel is available. Um, okay, you have basically finished your job. I can remove you from this project. And these two are definitely crewed spacecraft guys and I'm not quite sure about these two. Okay, um, 73, so I need some good guys working on the Soyuz booster. Uh, 61, 58, 40, okay, this is not very good. This is not a good selection, but at least we are making some progress over here. And the other scientists can continue working on these components. 
Okay, very good, very good. And I can now schedule the Lunar Impactor on a Lunar Booster. I can schedule it. Assign the best candidates. Okay, well done, well done. So can I do something else? What about my cosmonauts? Um, he is quite okay. He could increase maybe his piloting skills. Uh, he can learn more about leadership. This one is okay. He can also learn a little bit more about leadership. What about you? Oh, you are quite low on fitness, but yeah, okay, that's good. So mission scheduled. Um, yeah. Let's end the season. There so yours is at 76, that's good. But uh, I think this will still take some time. I like to get close to the 80% mark. Um, yeah, maybe in one or two seasons we are ready to go. The 7k LOK of course needs some time. And ooh, the N1 booster is really slow. I think this will be really a problem. Okay, um, 2550 prestige points if we succeed at this mission. This would be amazing. Okay. I hope the old Lunar Booster is still working and is still in good shape so that we can fly out to the moon and impact on the moon. This would be amazing. Okay, countdown is a success. And here we go. Here we go, amazing. The launch was a success, great, just great. Yeah, send was a success. And probe deployment. Ooh, we do have a problem, but 81% chance of success, that's good. And, come on. Okay, systems nominal, very good, very good. Problem solved. Translunar injection, very nice. Oh, we have once again flashing lights. But it was a success, amazing. And we have once again flashing lights during the Earth-Moon transit. What is this thing doing? Interesting. Um, oh, a problem. No, no, no. Do not hire any teams. And, okay, systems nominal. Very nice, very nice. Earth moon transit. Moon approach. Oh dear, once again, an issue. Come on, come on, fix the issue. Okay, systems nominal, very good. And moon impact. Okay, a successful mission. 2550 prestige points earned. That's great. That's really great. Okay, um, Luna 2, Lunar Impactor, Lunar Impactor, study of the structure of the moon level 1, study of the lunar soil level 1, close a pictures of the moon level 1. Okay, that's great. That's really great. Okay, um... Successful mission. What? Well done, comrade. The Premier of the Soviet Union is very pleased with your current performance and the fact that you managed to achieve a successful mission in the past season. Keep up good work. Victory will be ours. Okay. Okay. Interesting picture. <laughs> Interesting picture. So, um, that's nice. That's nice. Um... I have now three scientists available. No, no, no. At first, I like to see are they are a little bit better than forty percent. Yeah, one is fifty-nine. That's good. So I can exchange this one and can exchange this one. Okay. The other scientists can uh, work now on. Are they better in? Oh, yeah, include spacecraft. That's good. And. EVA suits. I can bring him over here. Change a little bit the order. Okay, that's good. And yeah, maybe the LK Lunar Lander. 
So that's good. That's good. Um, I don't have enough cosmonauts to launch the Soyuz 7K L1, and it's at 76.9. How many seasons are left? Um, nine seasons are left. That's good. So yeah, I think I will wait one additional season, and then I think it's time, or maybe two, and I think it's time for the very first launch for the maiden flight of our 7K L1 spacecraft. The booster is at 78.8, so yeah, in the next season we might reach the 80%, that's good. Uh, same goes for the Soyuz spacecraft. Yeah, so I think in the next season, or in this season, I will schedule this NASA joint launch and orbital flight, okay, and um, Yuri Gagarin has graduated from basic training, so he can go right away to advanced. Oh no. Oh yeah, he can go to advanced training because at first I will launch an uncrewed spacecraft. Um, you can also learn more about leadership. And who is uh, this one? Can also learn more about leadership. Okay, very good. So yeah, I like now to um oh wait. Before I will do this, I can manage the programs and I can get rid of the Lunar 2 and I can also get rid of the booster. Okay, very good, very good. And now I like to launch the uncrewed suborbital flight test on top of the Soyuz booster. Okay, schedule the mission, sign the best candidates, and here we go, here we go. Okay, I think that's good, I can end the season. Okay, yeah, the spacecraft is now above 80%, amazing, the rocket also above 80%, so should be no problem at all, hopefully. Um, well, the other components aren't that interesting right now. Okay, monitor from mission control. Launch preparations. For the, for the very first time we can see our shiny new Soyuz booster. That's cool. That's really cool. Okay, countdown was a success. And here it goes. A successful launch, amazing. Ascent. Also success. Great. Spacecraft deployment. Spacecraft deployment. A success. Very good, very good. Okay, our Studio 7K L1 spacecraft is now in space and it has a problem. That's not good. Um, your current funds are 18,000 and the chance of success are only 73. I think in this case, because I really need to progress with the spacecraft, I don't want to risk a failure. I will hire one team. I hope this was a good decision. Warning. Okay. So, a near miss. So maybe yeah, maybe it was a, good, a wise decision to hire this, this tiger team. Oh dear, I see once again flashing lights, okay. Problem solved apparently. Reentry, oh no, once again flashing lights. Ugh. Oh, 77%. Um, tiger team is really expensive, no, no, no. I hope this will be a success, 77.7. .7. And? Yes, indeed. Phew. Okay. Problem solved. Descent. A success. Amazing. Planning and recovery. Okay. Very good, very good. 400 prestige points earned. And also, I hope... And? Uh, so your 7KL1 uncrewed suborbital flight test. So your spacecraft design uncrewed suborbital test flight. Okay, and here four percent increase for the booster and three percent upgrade for the um, spacecraft. Very nice, very nice. 
Okay, NASA has opened the Lunar Orbiter program and here some is cross. Oh, what? Well done, comrade. Once again, he's very pleased with my performance. And that's amazing. Uh, I think I will now prepare the next flight. Once again, a suborbital flight. But this suborbital flight will give us 3850 prestige points. And that's amazing. Schedule the mission. Sign the best candidates. And assign the best candidates. Very good. Okay. And can I do something else? Um, can I do something else? Not really. Uh, what about... Oh yeah, um, 85%. That's really amazing. So I can remove these scientists from this project. I can remove basically all the scientists right now and I can bring the best scientist over to the Soyuz 7K LOK spacecraft and to the lunar lander like this. Very good. Then there's one scientist left over. He can work on the Igla automatic docking system. Very nice. And I can do the same thing over here with the rocket because 84% is pretty amazing and is pretty solid. And I can now change the crew so that their N1 booster gets improved and okay you can continue your work over here very good okay mission is scheduled and I think we are at the end of this episode so I hope you liked this episode and I hope you will be joining me in the next episode until then my name is Abby see you